Happy New Year everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to create GIF inside of Premiere 13 in this video. So if you guys don't have the Premiere 13 video editing software to begin with, so guys click the link in the description box below. I'm going to leave the link in the description and also in the pinned comment section. And if you do buy the license for Premiere through the link, you will get a 20% discount for the Premiere license. So without further ado, let's go straight into the Premiere video. So first of all, open up a new project in the Premiere software and import the video file that you want to convert to GIF. So I'm going to use this video, this uh, Instagram video, this Instagram format video, the 9 by 16. I'm going to just going to drag it and drop it on the timeline and I'm going to leave it as this. Okay, I'll do 25 frames per second. So this is the video we're going to be using for our GIF. So one of the things you need to do, make your GIF file length to be about one minute long, then delete the rest. You don't need it. So this is what we're going to be working with. So I'm going to be making um, a GIF for Happy New Year because we just entered to into the new year, which is 2024. So if you guys made it to 2424, I'm so happy to have you guys watching this video. God bless you all from wherever you're watching this video. God bless you. So the next thing you need to do is pretty much just add a text. So I'm going to click on this text icon, click on the quick text icon. And uh, let's see what we got. Okay. For some reason it's on under, I don't know why. So I'm going to take this thing down. Then I'm going to bring the text tab. Okay. The text title box on top of the video. So the same thing I did with the video, I'm going to cut it and make it just one minute. So I'm going to make it one minute. Then I'm going to type in Happy New Year. I'm just going to increase the length first. Then I'm going to type in Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Year. Okay. Then I'm going to arrange it so it seats well in the middle. Okay. Now, okay, I'm just going to reduce the line. Okay, so I'm going to make it like this. And I'm also going to add uh, an icon or an emoji today. So I'm going to go to the sticker. I'm going to, you can go to the stickers and look for emoji. So you just have to click this and find whatever emoji you want to use for your GIF. That's if you want to use emoji. So I already have one that I saved. I'm going to use this as the GIF. And I'm going to cut it off here then I'm going to delete the rest. So the next thing I have to do is I'm just going to like take a little bit out of it so it doesn't come out the same at the same time of the video. Then the next thing is I'm just going to position everything according to what I want it to be. So I'm just going to re reduce this line and position it to whatever part of the video I want. So I'm just going to take it here and I'm just going to edit this. I'm going to change the color for this tight just for this text and I'm gonna make it a bit white and change it to white so I'm just gonna make it like this and you can also add animation to this if you want to I'm just gonna add type type right in and when we view this it's gonna be like this so if you're done with your GIF if you already edited it to your liking what you just have to do you can Render your video file if you want, then go to the exports. Under the exports, you can type in whatever you want to write. GIF for the new year. Then under the formats, on the norms, is going to normally when you on the format, it's going to be MP4, right? So go to the format and find GIF. This is what we want. So click on the GIF button. And right now, you can see the size is 18.74 megabytes. We need our file size to be below 5 megabytes. In case you're going to upload it on any other social media platform, you need to have it at least 5 megabytes or below 5 megabytes. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go to the custom, res to the resolution. I'm going to pick one of these formats. I'm going to pick this or you can pick any one that suits you. Okay, I'm going to pick this. I'm going to leave it at 720 by 480. Then I'm going to leave the frame by frame rates at 25 frames per second. Then I'm going to click on exports. 
right now it's gonna export our videos right now our video is exported let's go and open the folder and view our gif okay I actually created a different variant of the gif so where is the one I created the G gif okay yes it is So pretty much this is how you create GIF inside of Femura 13. So if you're using the previous version of Femura, you can also use this method. So if you guys found this video helpful, please do smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.